when you put your shims in, you have to put it in here if you have to have a shims. If the end play is not right, you have your 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 spacer here. You put the shims in like this. This is a 500 of an inch thin, very thin. Here it fits perfectly. No harm to the engine at all. You push this through. And then you put your spacer on. In this case it is a filled knob because I have used the spacer in the heads which I have assembled. And then you can take your measurements with your thickness gauges here when you have to put it all side in the house and you have give it the right torque here. Torch. Which should be between 15, 12 to 15 in the book of Harley Davidson. They write that anyway, but it's a little cryptical because they don't write if it's the axle or the actual knobs on top of the rock boxes, but be that as it may. If you do the other thing, taking the shims out here, which is here, and put it. In this end, I will not use this one because this is a brand new one. Then you will have a problem because when you are tightening everything up, your shimses will do like this. And you can see that they are actually going to pieces. And these small pieces will fall down in your engine and through your oil pump and it will make so much damage you can't imagine. So always space it up in the right end, which is here. Thank you. I will show you some of the things that could go wrong in a minute. Here you can actually see one of the shimses that has been broken. This is a new shims. And this is pieces of one of the broken shims, which I found in a motor I was restoring. And they had not came down to the oil pump yet, but it would only be a matter of time. Then they will ruin the oil pump and maybe go through the engine several times if you didn't have an oil filter on it. So always remember to shims this up if it is necessary in the right place. And the right place you saw before is this is the place. In front of the push rods on the rock arm shaft. Here you have to put your shims if it is necessary. Because it will be clipped in this end here, it will be clipped by this one. And then you will have these damages running around in your bike and you won't like it at all. I can tell you everything about that, but that's not necessary. Just don't put it in this way because it is the wrong way. Okay, that's a little bit about that. Thank you.